Good morning, this is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel and my quest for an inexpensive replacement for the inexpensive steel case Russian imported 762 by 39 ammo continues. So the last time you joined us, we checked out an ammo called ZBS Ammunition and when I took it to the range, I had less than stellar results. Um, one thing I wanna say about that video and there's a few comments I got on it. People said, man, you just fired that so fast when you were on the line and then when you shot the Tula, you slowed down quite a bit. So no wonder why the Tula shot better. Um, actually, I edit out the pauses between shots. It takes me forever when I make these videos, but I'm saving you the minute or two that I take between shots. So just to address that issue, <clears throat> if an ammo performs poorly, again, it's, it's not because I'm firing through the shots quickly. I'm just trying to save you time as a viewer. So with that out of the way, I am continuing to look around at my local sporting goods store to see what I can find. And unfortunately, a lot of what I'm finding for 762 by 39 ammo is brass case, sometimes not reloadable because it's Burdan primed and it's running about $17.99 a box. Now, I was just at the local Shield store yesterday, and I did find this. So this is manufactured by Igman Ammunition Company. Uh, this is made in Bosnia and Herzegovina. And the ammunition company's been around since 1950. I watched a factory like tour video. They did this montage video where they show all the ammunition that they make, and this company makes everything. I was very impressed. I mean, it looks like it's quality ammunition. We'll see how well it runs. Um, I did pay, uh, let's see, $12.99 for this box. And if you go on to Target Sports USA, and I'm not sponsored by anybody, but Target Sports USA has this for like $7.92 a box. Case is $720. You'll have to do the math on that. But the only catch about this is there are only boxes of 15. I didn't even occur to me until after I got home that uh, I only got 15 in a box and not 20. But on the plus side, this is Boxer Prime, so it can be reloaded according to what's online. So we'll take a few shots. We'll take a look at it and check out the primer pocket and make sure that is true. But everything I'm seeing online says that it is in fact accurate. Uh, let's see, I don't have energy or velocity specs on this just off the top of my head. It's 123 grain ball ammunition. But let's go and take a look at a round real quick. Little tiny compact boxes. I mean, I kind of like that. But again, like I said, with 15 rounds, you're gonna be paying you know, just as much as I was paying you know, more for, for 20. It's almost the same price as $17.99 for 20. So we've got some very good looking ammo. Let's see if we can get that in focus for you. All right, now the cases are annealed, which is good. It means that they've been properly, you know, heat treated. You do have that ceiling in the bottom for weather resistance. That alone really had my attention. Um, something that a person pointed out to me about the ZVS ammo, and I don't know if this is true, but they said that they took a caliper, a caliper set to it, and the ZVS bullets were smaller than uh, what would be considered spec for 762 by 39 you know, they went through the whole box and they said that overall they were smaller than what they were supposed to be. I mean, there could be some manufacturing differences and they said maybe that's the reason why you didn't get the ammunition because it just couldn't properly spin coming out of the barrel. I have no idea. So the ZVS ammo, I'm gonna leave that up to you to try it if you get a chance. Uh, some people have said that they've had pretty good accuracy with it. So we're gonna take this out to the range, not today unfortunately, this is just a quick overview, but I wanted to get your attention so you can start to research this in case you wanna start stocking up. So at $7.92 for 15, it's not as good of a deal as what we had before, and if you do reload 762 by 39, um, this is definitely going to be a good deal. Now you might say, well, why would I reload 762 by 39? Why even get into it? So I'm kind of talking to the reloaders here. If you have a CZ 527 or a Ruger, um, let's see, Ruger American Ranch Series 762 by 39, like I do, I do want to start reloading for it. So I am saving my brass. But again, it's still some of the least expensive 762 by 39 that you can find in the stores right now. Now, maybe you can still find some Tula. Maybe you can still find some Wolf. We can still find cases online, but I'm starting to see upwards of $499 and over $500 for a case of a thousand rounds of Wolf or Tula, which used to be less than $200, okay? So with that being said, consider checking out the Eggman Ammunition, and I'm not sponsored by this company. I just uh, found this on the shelf. The box kind of caught my attention. And there is the $12.99 that I paid for it at Shields. So the next range trip out, we will test this, just do some 100 yard range testing or maybe some 75 yard testing on it. And then I always do use Tula or Wolf as a control group so you can see shooting the same gun at the same time, how that performs versus this. And as you've seen in my videos, the Tula or Wolf ammo uh, performs at about a one inch group or less. I mean, it does really, really good, sometimes inch and a quarter, but the ZVS stuff I shot last time was like three inches, two and a half inches, like an inch, inch and three quarters. So I'm not gonna continue buying that. But the funny part is that's already sold out at the local Shields. So people are buying this when it's popping up. So anyway, do check it out. And again, I'll try to put the ballistics information for this up on the, on the screen. I should be able to find it online. And uh, there you go. So just a quick little checkup with you. So the next time we take the Ruger Ranch to the range, which maybe this weekend, maybe this week, I don't know, we will just put a quick, you know, 15, 20 rounds down range and we will go from there. So you guys have fun, be safe, take care, keep looking for cheap ammo. If you find some, 
Let us know where you're finding it. If you can find a good deal on Brass Case Ammo, definitely give us a heads up. And as you know, we'll talk to you soon. All right, guys, be safe. Bye-bye.